Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. If you can't fly then run, if you can't run then walk, if you can't walk then crawl, but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but he must take it because conscience tells him it is right. Nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Everybody can be great, because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. A soul generated by love. We must come to see that the end we seek is a society at peace with itself, a society that can live with its conscience. Those who are not looking for happiness are the most likely to find it, because those who are searching forget that the surest way to be happy is to seek happiness for others. There is some good in the worst of us and some evil in the best of us. When we discover this, we are less prone to hate our enemies. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream that one day little black boys and girls will be holding hands with little white boys and girls. People fail to get along because they fear each other, they fear each other because they don't know each other, they don't know each other because they have not communicated with each other. A nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual doom. Not only will we have to repent for the sins of bad people, but we also will have to repent for the appalling silence of good people. Every man must decide whether he will walk in the light of creative altruism or in the darkness of destructive selfishness. Hatred paralyzes life, love releases it. Hatred confuses life, love harmonizes it. Hatred darkens life, love illuminates it. The choice is not between violence and non-violence but between non-violence and non-existence. True compassion is more than flinging a coin to a beggar, it comes to see that an edifice which produces beggars needs restructuring, 